Hi folks, uh, we're talking about program building here, football program building, and tonight we want to uh, visit a little bit about, I want to visit with you a little bit about uh, philosophy and or mission statement. Some people call it a philosophy, some people call it a mission statement. So it, it's a very important part of program building and uh, let's just dive right into it. Um, there, there's a lot to uh, the mission statement and the philosophy. It's something that needs to be the umbrella that sits on top of your entire program. Uh, it needs to be able to be flexible enough to cover all aspects. What you want to do with this program. Where, you, where do you want to take this program and how do you want to get there? What kind of a program are you going to be? That's what your philosophy or, or mission statement stands for. Uh, for example, Tom Osborne, Dr. Tom Osborne, when he was with the uh, Nebraska Cornhuskers, his mission statement, he used the term mission statement, it was um, excellence through teamwork. And that, that, that was precisely what Dr. Tom Osborne wanted to achieve with the Cornhuskers. He wanted to achieve excellence through teamwork. So he not only had what he wanted to do with this football team, but how he wanted to do it. They wanted to be excellent. How did they want to be excellent? How did they want to achieve that goal? Through teamwork. Excellence through teamwork. It only took three words and it, and it encompassed everything that he wanted to do and how he could get his team to where it needed to be. Um, a philosophy that I have used, that I inherited from uh, Bud Elliott, a great football coach that I worked for at Eastern New Mexico University, and, and then I, I, I took that philosophy that he had that I'm going to talk about in a minute, and I adopted it myself when I became the head coach, and now I kind of live by it. Bud's philosophy was this, take what you have with what you are, make something of it, and never be satisfied. That's a quote from George Washington Carver on how George Washington Carver lived his life. George Washington Carver, of course, was the great American uh, inventor, statesman, great American mind, uh, George Washington Carver, and that's how he lived his life. So, so Coach Elliott took that and applied it to his football team, and so did I uh, eventually when I took over. And Let's talk a little bit about that. this philosophy. Uh, take what you have with what you are, make something out of it, and, and never be satisfied. Well, let's, let's, let's pick that apart a little bit. Take what you have. Now, every football program has something. Everybody has something that, that's really, really good, it, it, and, and it's different for every program, but it, at least you have one thing. Some have several things. Some have a lot of things, but uh, at least you have one. It could be it could be you have great facilities. It could be you have great tradition. It could be you have great fan support. It could be that uh, that you're located in a great geographical area that loves football. Uh, maybe if you're a college team, you're in an area that's easy to recruit because you have a great town. Maybe you have a great school. It's easy to recruit to because you have a world-class school. Um, Stanford has a world-class school. Cal Berkeley has a world-class school. University of Texas has all kinds of tradition. Texas A&M right smack in the middle of a great football state. Uh, University of Miami, great tradition, great football state. Penn State, uh, Pennsylvania is a good football state. Ohio State, great football state, great tradition. Um, Notre Dame, great tradition. There, there's all kinds of things that you might have. Uh, could be facilities, like I say, could be a great staff, could be a great coaching staff. Um, so you take what you have. And then the next part is with what you are. Now, as a, as a football team, you need to decide what are you, who are you. Um, if you're if you're a Mike Leach football team, um, you're going to be a, a spread, wide open, pass happy offense. You're going to score a lot of points. You're going to be really fast. If uh, same thing if you were a Chip Kelly team at Oregon, and even now with the Philadelphia Eagles, you're going to get a lot of snaps. You're going to be really exciting. You're going to be a fast paced brand of football. You're going to wear out the defense. That's, that's who they are. If you're a Nick Saban team, you're going, to, you're going to control the football. You're going to be able to run the football. You're going to be able to stop the run. Uh, they know, these people know who they are. They know who they are. Um, if you're a triple option team, you're going to run the option. You're, you're, you're going to uh, pound at them with the option. You're going to control the ball. Uh, uh, when Fisher DeBerry was at Air Force, they had a saying, you're either going to score 40 points or hold the ball for 40 minutes. I mean, they, they knew who they were. So you take what you have with what you are. Okay, so, so you, need to, you need to figure out what you have, and then that's easy. Look around. Everybody knows that. What do you have? What are, we, what are the great things in our program? What are the great things about our school, our university, our high school? 
what what do we have here that, that's unique and that's really good? And then with what you are, who are we? What are we about? You know, I've worked for all kinds of teams. I've worked for a triple option team. I've worked for a team that's multiple. We're a multiple offense. We run, we're a pro style offense. So we run all kinds of formations. We hit you with all kinds of plays. We're very multiple. Uh, defensively, the same thing. I've worked at places where we were an aggressive attacking defense. I've worked at places where we're a, a very flexible pro style four three defense that's very multiple. We'll hit you with all kinds of different looks. We could be a blitzing team or a zone team, depending on the circumstance. So um, decide who you, what you have with what you are, and then there's the make something of it. This part of the philosophy, that's the part of the philosophy where uh, that's the nuts and bolts of your program. Make something of it. So how do you do that? What are we talking about here? Well, you take what you have with what you are and you make something of it. What does that mean? Well, you look at where you are and where you want to be, and then how do you get there? What's your plan of attack, your strategic plan to get to where you want to be from where you are? And, and you apply that to all. You apply that to your, to your uh, off-season program, your academic program, your in-season program, um, uh, your offense and your defense, your professional development of your staff. Um, uh, you can apply that uh, any any area of your program. You you could take it wh where we are, where we want to be, and how do we get there? And then you reevaluate that every year. You know, and uh, recruiting. If you're a high, if you're a college team, where are we in recruiting? Where do we want to be in recruiting? How do we get there? How do we make it better? How do we get to this level? What level do you choose? Well, you could start easily by uh, the levels of the champion of your conference or division. Uh, if you're in such and such conference, who won the conference? How do they recruit? Where do they recruit? And how do we get from where we are to where they are? Um, strength and conditioning. You look at one of the strongest teams you play. and Well, we play so-and-so team, and they're really strong, and they're really fast. So let's go and, and let's figure out how they get there. Let's figure out what their weight program is all about, what their strength and conditioning program is all about, and how can we tailor ours to get as strong as the champion in our, pro, in our, in our conference or division. That, that's just a starting point. You know, maybe you want to be a wide open, uh, uh, when Chip Kelly was at Oregon, I know that the, the Oregon strength and conditioning, they tailored their strength and conditioning uh, program to that offense so we could be a fast-paced, uh, really athletic type of offense and um, so so they they tailored their weight program to uh, help their athletes achieve that so th that's that's the make something of it part so you take what you have you figure out what are the good things we have then you figure out now who are we okay and then you make something of it and that's that's traveling from here to here and, and making your strategic plan and then, and then never being satisfied. That's the last, that's the last uh, part of the philosophy or mission statement. And that, that, what does that mean, never being satisfied? Well, uh, even if you reach your goal, even if you reach your goal that you have set, you could set a new goal, set the bar higher and higher. And every year you could go over, now, did we get to where we wanted to be in recruiting, in our strength and conditioning, in our academics, in our off-season program, in our in-season practices, and so on. Uh, in our professional development as a staff, you know, um, did we get to where we wanted to be? If not, let's let's retweak the plan. Let's stick with the plan. Uh, whatever the case may be, maybe we need to come up with a new plan. That's that's that depends on how close you got to your target. Okay, that's those are some ways that you can use this philosophy. Other ways are, you know, uh, when you're doubting yourself, you go back to your philosophy. Let's say you've hit a rough patch. You've lost a couple of games and you're just questioning everything. Well, you go back to this and say, now, wait a minute. Let's go back to square one. Let's go back to our philosophy. We, we've dropped a couple of games here, a couple of close ones. We're not feeling good. We don't need to scrap everything. This philosophy is the rudder of your ship. You know, take what you have of what you are. And you need to look at, okay, now what are we? Are we a triple option team? Then let's, let's keep running the triple because that's who we are. That's what we have. We have triple option players. We have linemen that can cut block. We have, we have receivers that can block on the perimeter. We have a quarterback that can operate really well. That's who we are. We need to stay the course with this. And, and, and things will get better. We just need to retweak a few things. That's what the philosophy can, can do for you. 
maybe you're sitting there and you're, you're, you're trying to be a triple option team. Let's say, for example, you want to be a triple option team, but that's not what you have. You don't have that kind of a quarterback. You've got a, you've got a big, tall gunslinger, and you've got a, uh, several little receivers. that are, They're real quick, little slot-type receiver guys that can get open in space. So maybe you don't need to be a triple option team. Well, this philosophy can help you take what you have. The first thing you've got to figure out is what you have. If you're brand new to the school, figure out what you have, and you might need to tailor your offense and defense and to, to what you have, uh, more so than what you are. Now, after you've been there for a while and you can develop some things, if you're at the college level, you can recruit. This is who we are. You know, you come in there and, and you're running an air raid offense. This is who we are. So here's who we're going to go recruit. We're going to recruit a couple of big, really fast guys at receiver on the edges, a couple of little guys inside that can get open fast, a really great feature back, and a quarterback that can deliver the mail. You know, that's who we are. So let's go out there and get it. Uh, so your philosophy can help you in the good times. It can help you in the bad times. It can help you. It can help you with player discipline. You know, take what you have of what you are. Uh, you know, let's say one of your players uh, breaks some team rules. You can sit in and you go, "That's not the kind of team. That's not who we are. That behavior that that you exhibited. That's not who we are. That's not the such and such football team. The Wildcats, the Bearcats, the the Tigers, whoever your team is. You can sit that young man there and say, "You know that we don't do that. That's not who we are." You know, and, and you're not taking what you have. You're not taking the gifts that the good Lord gave you. You know, you could sit there across from a player and tell them this. You know, you, you, have a lot of, you have a lot of natural talents. You have some good street smarts. You've got some good, some good book smarts. You've got a lot going for you. And, and so you need to take what you have with what you are and make something of it. So you can use this, you can use this philosophy in, in several different ways when you're, when you're dealing with... Uh, your program, uh, any aspect of your program, as far as the technical stuff, as for, uh, meaning in season, uh, out of season, strength and conditioning, recruiting, um, um, uh, staff development, player development, those kind of things. You could use it personally, uh, introspective, and you look at yourself. Am, am I am I getting everything out of, of of myself? Am I am I am I Am I using my tools to the best of my ability, taking what I have with what I, what I am, and I'm, am I making something of it? Uh, you could also use it with the players. Uh, it's a good rudder for your ship. If your ship gets off course, you go right back to your philosophy, look back at who you are, look back at what you have, and keep trying to make something of it. You know, uh, Sometimes that plan to make something, up, make something of it, the plan part of it, that's what you have to decide as the head coach. Now, uh, we are right here, and we want to get to up here, and here's my plan, but we didn't hit it. We didn't even get halfway there, so, so do we need to come up with a new plan? Do we need to tweak this plan, or do we need to stay the course? And that's, that's head coaching stuff, and that needs to come from your heart and your gut, and, and you need to determine uh, whether or not uh, you need to make a whole new plan. But this philosophy can help keep you on track, it keeps your feet on the ground during the good times, and it keeps, keeps your head up during the bad times. So take what you have with what you are, make something of it, and never be satisfied. And that's just one example. Uh, you could go into almost any business uh, in America, and they will have some kind of mission statement. You could go into almost any school, uh, higher education, uh, public education, uh, elementary school, then they will have a mission statement. What do we want to accomplish in this school? What do we want to accomplish in this business? It could be Starbucks. It could be uh, Facebook. It could be anything. Ford Motor Company. And I guarantee you that they have some kind of mission statement. What do they want to accomplish? And uh, churches have this. If you're starting a church, a business, a school, a program, you, you need to have some kind of foundational a philosophy and or mission statement to to very exactly describe what your intentions are with this program and or business and or school or church or, or whatever. So uh, I hope this helped. Um, it has helped me in the past and uh, uh, I hope that uh, George Washington's Carver, Car George Washington Carver's uh, philosophy can help you.